all right this is our lesson number four this is revision ug at com in this lesson we are going to discuss shadows uh, in the previous lesson we looked at different objects and how they affect light once it falls onto them and one of them which we are going to to talk about right now it is an opaque object or an opaque material whereby we say that this one does not allow any light ray to pass through it therefore as light casts onto it it is just going to form a region of darkness and that region of darkness is what we call a shadow as you are seeing here this is a box and the box is just an opaque material as light from the sun falls onto it, it is forming what we call a shadow, this region of darkness. Therefore, we are going to define a shadow as a shadow is a region of darkness. A region uh, of darkness caused by, uh, caused by the obstruction of light rays. By obstruction of light rays. Uh, by an opaque object so uh, regardless of any light source so long as it is falling on an opaque object then we are going to form a shadow so um, um, the question the examination question it is how is a shadow formed so a shadow is formed as a result of the obstruction of light rays by an opaque object or what happens um, at light once it falls onto an opaque object even uh, automatically a shadow is uh, formed therefore once again we are saying that a shadow is a region of darkness caused by the obstruction of light rays by an opaque object right now uh, these shadows or a shadow has a uh, regions let us now look at uh, regions of a shadow and they are only and only two uh, regions one is called the umbra then another one is called the pen umbra uh, this word is pen umbra and this one is the umbra so let us understand what does the word umbra mean umbra is the darkest region of a shadow so the darkest a region of a shadow uh, yes that is the umbra and when is this umbra formed so umbra is formed uh, if the light source is very uh, small uh, it is formed when the light source is very very a uh, very a uh, small then the pen umbra and uh, this one uh, it is the uh, partial dark uh, it is the partial dark region of a shadow so it is partially dark so it's the partial dark region of a shadow and this umbra i mean this pen umbra is formed when the light source is extended or when the light source is very very a uh, very big diagram wise uh, we can get our screen over here uh, uh, let us assume that this is our screen then we are having the first circle this is the first region of a shadow which is too dark then we are going to have the second one now this one it is uh, partially dark therefore that uh, this region becomes the pin umbra and again this inner one it is the umbra now let us take the diagram to see how a shadow is formed i suppose now uh, we are having a light slit uh, an opening that is what we mean by a slit then inside there we are having a flame maybe a candle is burning then uh, here we are going to have an opaque object then light rays are going to emerge from the light slit like this then we use arrows to show the movement of light rays then here we are going to have our screen then on the screen what are we going to get we are going to get a shadow meaning that as light is coming it has been obstructed within here then eventually we are going to form a shadow then this shadow we have forming or we have formed here it this region is the umbra region simply because when you look at the light slit or the opening through which light is coming uh, it is very very a uh, small once it's very small it is forming the darkest region of a shadow then let us see how the pen umbra is formed uh, we are going to get our light slit now this time the light slit is going to be bigger now inside here we are having light source it is a candle burning then we have our opaque object then this opaque object we are going to have light rays now coming from the slit and then here we are going to get our our 
our screen then uh, we are using arrows to show the movement of the rays then uh, here we are now going to form a light a shadow now the first one is going to become the umbra region of a shadow then because the, the light slit is very wide or it's very big or it's extended now we are going to get other light rays coming from up going down here like this one and also from up down going up like this so in so doing we are going to form a larger region of a shadow and this larger region of a shadow is going to be what we call the pen umbra so this is the umbra this is the pen umbra pen umbra is the partially dark region of a shadow umbra it's the darkest region then umbra is formed when the light source is very small then the pen umbra is formed when the light source is very a big now when you come to this uh, diagram here we are having the light source which is a torch then a ball is acting as our opaque material then this one uh, it is acting as our screen then as light is coming from the light source here we are getting that totally dark region and this one the darkest region this is the what we call the umbra so we are not having the pen umbra simply because the light source was very very was very uh, small therefore my dear Lana, in summary we will say it, a shadow is a region um of darkness are uh, caused due to the obstruction of light rays by an opaque material or object then a shadow or shadows have two regions one is the umbra and another is the penumbra the umbra is the darkest region of a shadow whereas the penumbra is the partially dark region of a shadow penumbra is formed by the extended light source whereas the umbra is formed by the small uh, light source then when we are forming them they are cast on a screen as you are seeing this is a small slit of light and here we have a big slit of light forming the two uh, regions there now as you are seeing from here okay so from that one uh, let us move on and see how important are these uh, shadows in our daily life so the importance of uh, shadows yes importance of the shadows in our day-to-day uh, -day life remember this is revisionng.com uh -huh. one we use shadows to determine the direction yes we use shadows to determine directions as you are seeing this man over here so we are having a he's having a stick then does this stick is opaque it has cast a shadow over here then he has drawn a compass to tell where to go so shadows can also help us there uh, to tell or to determine the direction we can also use the shadows at uh, determine time yes to determine a uh, time of other day like during noon the shadows are very short so the shortest time i mean the shortest shadows are experienced during the noon time reason the sun is over the head yes the sun is over uh, the head so that's why the shadows are very are uh, too short so when you look at the person here then the sun is over the head then the shadow is going to just be here too short so the shortest shadows are experienced during noon time reason the sun is over the head then you can use this one to tell that it is just a noon time and also uh, these shadows uh, can provide shade yes they can give us a shade which is very very uh, useful to us however much these shadows are important they have also some and uh, these adva at uh, these advantages so advantage number one here uh, shadows can be hiding places uh, hiding uh, places for dangerous animals yes so they can be hiding places for dangerous animals dangerous people at night they hide, hide under the shade or the shadow then they cause harm uh, to people uh-huh number two are uh, plants growing under the shade are uh, plants growing under the shadows or shades under the shadows attend to grow a very thin and weak a very thin and weak due to the competition of sunlight 
so thus this one is not favorable uh, to the crop uh, farmers so with that one my dear learner i hope that you've understood how important shadows are what a shadow is the disadvantages the regions of a shadow and when are they are formed right now it is the time for the activity so activity number one uh, tells us to define a shadow define a shadow number two how is a shadow formed how is a shadow formed number three uh, how is umbra shadow different from an umbra shadow how is umbra shadow different from uh, different from pen umbra shadow pen umbra shadow number four in the space provided below draw a shadow and show how the pen um, and show the pen umbra and umbra I draw a shadow a shadow and show pen umbra and umbra number next give two uses of shadows to people give two uses of shadows to people uses of shadows to people number six number six says give one effect state one effect of shadows to seedlings give one effect of shadows to seedlings number seven give to dangers of shadows give to dangers of shadows okay you've been a good learner this has been lesson number four keep up with revision we meet in our next lesson